my family away from family. And this is what the church did for us, is friend, family. And uh, what a great bless. I love the fact that everybody really cares about each other, truly cares. And we didn't have that over at our other church. And what I like to see in a real a church where we can have weddings and funerals, yes, I would. But I want it to be right here. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be moved anyplace else. But we're here, and that has had a marvelous effect in creating a group of people who love each other and represents a truly fine Christian group of people. No pressure. <laughs> I think uh, one of the, the primary reasons that we joined the church was to have a chance to give the kids a model to follow and, and see what the youth groups do and the interaction they have with the community. That's been, uh, that's been the, the primary driver. And, and they've just been so uh, loving toward our kids and have made them feel welcome. And uh, even though they're yawning, yawning. <laughs> uh, they've made them feel welcome. And, and that's been uh, one of the most important things of this church. I think that we find here is, is a tremendous amount of warmth and, and camaraderie. Uh, uh, it's a real family atmosphere here, and you know, we feel very welcomed here, and it's a wonderful place to, to worship and to, to be. <laughs> it would be lovely to have a place. I know the church is the people and not the place, but still the place contributes to that sense of church. And people driving by on the highway seeing a church building would be more inclined to stop in if the building had a name on it. was, you know, Annapolis um, Evangelical Lutheran Church on the front. And, and people want to get married in a church that looks like that. I mean, there's something to be said for the beauty of the building mm -hmm. and the inspiration that that imparts. We've accomplished a lot. This, con this congregation has, has, has developed, has matured, has accomplished many things in the community. Imagine how much more we could do if we had our own facility and could sink our anchor deeply in this area. This group of people has really taken care of my family and, and me. Um, a lot of people know that my wife passed away um, almost two years ago in 2014 and um, Pastor Miller and uh, so many friends in the congregation were just incredible to us. We um, have attended here for um, several years and a lot of our friends, our networks have been here and they would bring meals, they would have prayer meetings with us, um, they would do amazing things for us including after Janet passed away and this is just my my support community. It's my Christian support community. So I really love this group of people and I'm glad I'm here. I think without a building, you really limit your outreach to the community. Would you like to have a, a more standard church building? Does that mean anything to you guys one way or the other? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I kind of like the gym because I play basketball. So it's just like, you know. Just, Being home. Yeah. <laughs> we could build another place. It could be like a gym to satisfy everybody's needs, but we would have that space ourselves, and we wouldn't have all this commotion every Sunday. And during the week, everything could be centralized in that location, you know, the, not the West Street and the, and the Beth Gate, but everything in one place. And I think that will make us a stronger congregation. I love being here because I have so many friends here, and the church body, is the people and that's what I enjoy. The church is just wonderful. We love being here, we like the people, everybody's friendly. We're limited in the fact that we would love to do more fellowship events and things and have dinners and share game nights and potlucks and different things that we don't have the capability to do right now because we don't have a building that's permanently ours. Just the joining of how, how everyone comes together to support one another. We had a health situation this summer and everyone was just so great and just that family feel. Mm -hmm. You don't find that everywhere. And the ability with Sunday school that it kind of sets the anchor and you know, stealing, I guess using the term that we've talked about, that it really makes a, a difference, I think, to as a, a home to come to and a building to call our own, that it would be quite uh, advantageous uh, for the existing congregation and to grow the congregation. Uh, the, the people here are really uh, 
our church family and um, you know it's just a place I know that I can come to on Sundays or on Wednesdays or you know during Lent and, and things like that where I can find a little peace um, and I can kind of recharge my batteries and, and and come back to God. As busy as our lives are, as much as I personally travel, to know that there's a comfort and a home and what are some of our best friends that are here at church that we can come together and we know there's always somebody here to support us. I thank God for every blessing we have, but you know, I think having a, a one singular spot to go to would, would really, just really kind of tie everything together. Everyone, the whole congregation has been really um, welcoming to us and um, I just can't imagine being somewhere else. I hope that if we can get a permanent um, church home that um, we can maybe attract more new members. Um, I would love to see more families like us, like um, the younger kids. Just being part of a community, you know, in a congregation is, is something that uh, you, know, you look forward to on the weekends and to give the children um, you know, religious background as well. The building, they can actually see, uh, you know, this is a place where we can go. Um. The church is everything to me. It comes first in pretty much most of my life and Altar Guild is a huge part of my giving and serving of our church. There are things that cannot tolerate the extreme temperatures uh, of the shed so in the in the winter time we have to take things home that can't freeze. In the summertime we have to take things, things home that can't spoil. I really didn't know Karen that well and some of the other people on the altar guild I really didn't know that well until this church happened to mm -hmm. our, our the beginning of this church because now we are so family um, this is a family and I have never felt the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ as I have felt in this church I think with the with a more permanent space that we can call that you guys can call your home even greater ministry and even greater fellowship can take place and, and God can be glorified even more than he is now. Uh, uh, we, this year we've, we sold our house and we live on a boat. And uh, so we know something a little about setting your anchor. Uh, and, uh, but one of the interesting things about setting your anchor, it's not just setting your anchor again in, in, in the Word of God and in God, but it's also there's got to be a chain there that holds up to the boat. And each of those links of the chain uh, are required and none of them can give, give way for that boat, otherwise it'll go to the rocks. So we all, our love that we give is the things in that chain that hold us all together and uh, really keep us off the rocks. And that's what we feel about the church. The church keeps us off the rocks and keeps us in the right place. It's important to have a church home. Um, and you know, we've, throughout our 30 years together, we've been with the Lutheran Church in, in many different places. And um, coming to Annapolis Lutheran was like coming home. and. Um, you know, so we feel pretty close here al already, even though we've only been with you a couple of years. Um, but I think a, a church building is also an important testimony to the community that we're serious about bringing Christ to Annapolis. It would be great to have a choir room and a real piano or a couple real pianos that we weren't having to set up every single morning and finding time to rehearse, trying to get there early um, into the into the gymnasium, it would be nice to be able to rehearse in a choir room before the service so we don't give away any anthem for the service. Um, it would be nice to also have um, a place to practice and to, and to be able to practice in the setting of the church as opposed to practicing at home or practicing in um, Sweet B. A physical, um, having a church that is um, a established church um, with a building. Mm -hmm. I think will attract more membership. Having a later church service would be fantastic and I feel that a physical church um, would attract more membership and that we would be able to grow in a way that we would need two services on Sunday to accommodate everyone. I and Unfortunately, I, I feel badly that that's what it takes to draw people into a church, but I think they would feel that we were more established and successful and trustworthy and legitimate that we would um, that they would be drawn in. For me, the church is a family. Um, it's a place where I can come and always feel welcome. It means a place that I can get away from all the people who don't believe in God and that so I can worship Him with a bunch of people who do believe in Him. A place where we can all be like a family together. What about if we had a new church home, like a, 
our own chapel where we're well, not. Well, then I think it would be much easier, and I think that we would be able to go longer without having to set up. You would definitely be able to, if we had one spot, we could leave everything up, and then we would just be able to just come there and stay there however long we want, and then have it over. Instead of having everybody to set up and waiting for everybody to come. Well, I and feel it, like this congregation has really welcomed us like a family, and um, uh, that has meant so much to me personally and to our family. Um, we just feel um, that it's a community of, of loving people and um, people grounded in scripture and the Christian gospel. Like if we were to have, you know, we really are like a, a kind of a family and if we were to have, you know, a permanent home, like a, a building, we, we could be able to do so much more. We could, you know, um, like the uh, pastor said, we could also have, um, you know, help other congregations or other, you know, communities who are trying to help you know, kind of what we're doing. Really involved and really kind and outgoing youth group and it really makes me feel comfortable like we can talk about the important things in our faith and what's what it's like to be um, a Christian teen in high school. Annapolis Evangelical Lutheran Church has been a, and continues to be a wonderful testimony to the life of Christian discipleship not be in a gymnasium. To me, this is temporary. The landlord can dictate or mandate whatever's got to happen from the rent all the way down to the usage of the, of the structure. Uh, we all know how difficult it is to have weddings or funerals or uh, any type of a, of a, a simple function um, that represents the day-to-day -day life of your congregation. Now I think it's a <laughs> church family. It's, you know, we were married here. Our children were were baptized with this church family, the majority confirmed of it confirmed church with this church family. Mm -hmm. So I think finding a home for this family would would just be an absolute wonderful blessing. If we would have a permanent home, we would not have to move stuff in and out all the time. Uh, definitely would be better. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to have a permanent home where we don't have to do this every Sunday? Or I think a big part of church isn't just Sunday morning. I think that church actually has a lot to do with um, the group of people that you meet and become um, part of their community. And I know when we came through uh, tough times, especially when my health went bad, um, it was amazing the amount of um, encouragement and meals, <coughs> excuse me, and meals and um, babysitters oh, yeah. and um, help with our yard work and moving and all those types of things that people just came out of the woodwork to help and that was amazing for us and um, I think that that really shows how we aren't just people who see each other on Sunday morning but we actually are a group we are a family and I really appreciate and I th think that that's part of church. Uh, this has is, is, is been about uh, obviously worship and obviously giving to worship like through music. Um, Michelle's been very active with the youth over the years um, organizing things. Um, it's it's about it's about fellowship. We know a lot of people here too. We we hang out with them outside of service. So I don't know. It's it's really a intricate and entrenched, if that's a bad word, part of our lives. I think that a building is very important because I think we only have like everybody. We're all very busy and we all have so only a certain amount of hours in the day. And if we had a church building, we could then use our efforts in serving the community and um, worshiping instead of spending a lot of time and effort with the the task of setting up and tearing down and moving things. And how many times are you supposed to give people according to the Bible? How, oh, how many times are you supposed to forgive people according to the Bible? 70 times. What is it? What is it? I, it's, I, tell, I tell you, it's not seven times, but it's called 70 times 7. Oh, that's awesome. right. That's right. 70 times 7. That's right. It's how, 70 times 7. Equals 490. Absolutely. Absolutely. We came here as a group, as a, as a congregation of like-minded people with a strong sense of community within our own congregation. And this has maintained the momentum since the very beginning, and I think people see that when they come to visit us. They feel the camaraderie and the sense of community. They feel a sense of home of the missions committee and there are times when we find ourselves a little hampered in what we can do we think of things that might be nice 
but we don't have really the space to be able to do them. And I'm hoping that if we move into our own facility that that will enhance our missions program even more than it is. Yeah, we've come, got real close with some friends here. Of course, everybody here, you know, we've known for a while. And it's just that ability, you know, to not just worship together, but to also socialize together. Oh, definitely. Because there again, I hate to bring back 9-11, but I remember that day. I didn't want to be home. I wanted to be at church. So if something, God forbid, happened like that today, what I want to be in Annapolis area's, you know, gym, I want to be in our own sanctuary where I can be with my pastor and my, my church family. I think it's family. We've moved all over for over 60 years, and our touchstone has always been church. We've never lived near our families, so church has always been family to us. For us, when we came, we were looking for a family, a church family, and that's what we found. We found a family here, and I think, you know, families need a home, and so, um, that's why, that's why I think it's meaningful to me and I think to us. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, we had looked at probably eight or nine different churches uh, before we came and, and decided on uh, Annapolis Evangelical. Um, and the thing that we were looking at most is that this congregation was the most welcoming congregation uh, that we had been uh, across the board. Um, and that continues today. Uh, I don't know of another church that shares the peace longer than we do. And it's, and it's more than just sharing the peace. It's reconnecting with each other. And uh, that's one thing that we thoroughly enjoy about our congregation here. It would be nice to have a new building for fellowship. I'm going to talk about the Pancake Supper this Tuesday. And it would be nice to have a building that we can do that in instead of trying to find a place to house everybody. And do no, there's it. something about going into the church that you get a different feeling from what you do going into the jail. And you to be able to do mission and ministry beyond the congregation with strength because we're making good decisions, good stewardship decisions as a congregation. Whatever the future holds, our prayers will be with this church, our hearts are with this church, we will carry this congregation in our hearts forever.